I grabbed some mirror paint and thrifted light fixtures. I added a splash of vinegar to a spray bottle with water and lightly sprayed the inside of the glass light fixture. Next, I sprayed the mirror paint on the inside and drained the extra water and paint out. I sprayed the light fixture base black. Once dry, I painted antique gold rub and buff on it, leaving some of the black showing. Once dry, I added battery fairy lights. Head to the thrift store and pick up a set of matching glasses. I'm grabbing a block of candle wax. I'm gonna take this all to the stove, let it melt completely. I'm gonna set it aside and let it cool. I'm going to add wicks to these glasses. Now I can pour the wax into each candle and I'm gonna let this set for a full 24 hours. Grab a candlestick, grab yourself a little container and pour in some Mod Podge. Then you're gonna add a few drops of food coloring and just apply a coat over the entire outside of the candlestick. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of blue and then make another candlestick. My glass is covered. Just set these aside for an hour or two. Once your jar candle is almost used up, let the candle cool and then pop it into the freezer for at least two hours. Wedge the edge of the knife into the side of the remaining wax. Now soak the jar with some hot sudsy water and then wipe the inside of the jar with a cloth or sponge. If you have a jar candle with a lid, remove the candle wax in the same manner. Take the lid of the jar and place painter's tape around the side of the lid. Now spray paint the top of the lid. Take a used wine cork and attach it to the top of the lid. We're going to start today's DIY with a remote controlled light bulb. So we're going to take that little holster and we're going to glue that to the top with hot glue. And, and then we're going to put in our light bulb. We're going to take a clamp so that we can add that on top in order to hold your lampshade. Take that finial piece, screw that back on so it's nice and snug. You want to make sure that you have a nice clean surface. Rubbing alcohol is a good option. You'll need some sort of stencil and line that up and then just press down firmly. And it's really important here that you maintain the best seal possible. You'll want to take some painter's tape and put it around the surrounding edges. Now that you have your stencil in place, it's time to apply the etching cream. I typically do about a five minute time to allow it to sit and then we'll rinse it off. Run it under a stream of warm water and just allow the the cream to gently rinse off. Once you have the etching cream all rinsed off, you can go ahead and remove the stencil and the tape. But we're gonna take it one step further and I'm going to be using this Rub and Buff product to add some color to it. We are gonna grab a couple glass mason jars. So you're gonna grab a small dish and you're gonna fill it with clear glue and a little bit of water. I used about two tablespoons of glue and about one tablespoon of water. Then I'm gonna drop in a little bit of food coloring. Then stir it up until it's mixed really well. Grab your mason jar, make sure it's nice and clean. Pour that dark blue mixture into the jar and swirl it around so it covers everything. Once you've swirled it all around, you can dump the excess back into the original container. Now we wanna let this drip for a little bit. Let it drip for about 10 minutes. Take a paper towel, wipe off any excess drips that are around the rim of the jar. Then place this upside down on a piece of parchment paper. Pop it in your oven at 175 for about 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, take it out, turn it right side up and let it cool completely. I grabbed some thrifted glassware for this brilliant garden decor. Then I grabbed some two-part epoxy. I used a wood skewer to mix the epoxy and placed it around the bottom edge of one glass vase and glued it to the bottom of the glass bowl. I set that aside and let it dry. I applied epoxy to the bottom of a different glass vase and placed the glass platter on top in the center. I grabbed the vase with the bowl and applied epoxy to the top and attached the third vase upside down and applied epoxy to the top of the vase that is attached to the bowl and I placed the other section on top. Pick up a thrift store frame and remove the backing. Find a white mat that will fit the frame size. Hang the frame and mat on a wall. Find a small glass jar or vase. Take two command strips and stick the jar to the wall. You now have a 3D interactive wall art piece. Head to Dollar Tree and pick up three glass carafes. Take twine and wrap, tie, and secure around the glass and clip parts of the plant off. Add water to the glass bottles and then add clippings to the water. Hang a curtain rod and add more twine or rope from the rod. 
On one of my most recent trips to Dollar Tree, I came across these glass bowls and as well I spotted these cool margarita glasses. I'm going to take some E6000 and I'm going to spread it around on the bottom of the margarita glass. And then I'm also going to apply some E6000 on the bottom of one of the glass bowls. Then I'm going to place it on top. I'm going to leave this to set. In the meantime, I'm going to take my second glass bowl and I'm going to take some E6000 and I'm going to take an old drawer pull and then place that on top. First, we're gonna spray paint. I'm using Rust-Oleum Satin Heirloom White and Rust-Oleum Stone. We're gonna take some painter's tape. You kinda wanna rough tear one edge of it. We're gonna put this along the bottom. I'm using a craft paint and I'm just using brushed gold. You kinda wanna make it look like the, the paint is kind of tearing and you can see underneath it. I saw some candles from Powdery Barn. I thought it'd be fun to try making them myself. I'm gonna put a little glue into a small container and then add a bit of paint. Now that I have the glue tinted, I'm gonna paint it all over the glass dish on the outside. I'm gonna leave these for a few hours before moving on. Using some Mod Podge, I'm gonna paint it around the dishes. I can sprinkle the white glitter all over it and then when it dries, the glitter will stay in place. I grabbed these pillar candles from the dollar store and I'm gonna melt them down. I'm just gonna use a couple of skewers to hold the wicks in place. I want to add some essential oil to give my candles a beautiful scent. It's time to fill the glass dishes. The final thing to do is to remove the skewers and then trim the wicks. So I've come back from the thrift store with a few items and now I'm going to clean them up. For this first one, I'm going to be using Folk Art Home Decor Chalk Paint. And I've got a stencil brush here. Dip it into the paint, but then I'm going to offload a little bit of it here. So I'm going to go ahead and continue around. I'm gonna let them dry completely before the next step with these. For this next one, we're going to be using Pledge Floor Care Cleaner. Pour some of the Pledge Floor Cleaner into the glass base. Whirl the glass carefully so that it's all coated. Because I'm just gonna use some snowy glitter and I'm gonna dump a healthy amount in here. Now we start swirling all the way around. And I let it dry completely. Next, I'm gonna use some green glitter same process. And I'm gonna be using Folk Art enamel paint in the color Wicker White. For this last one, I'm gonna leave them plain. So we're gonna start with the cup and I'm gonna choose to have it go up and upside down. One is super glue and put it on the edge all the way around. You place it on top. So I'm gonna let this one dry and we'll start adhering the other ones. 